Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And this is an absolute bonkers set for War for Cybertron Golden Disc Collection Road Ranger. This is the Dino Hunter decal set. And this thing is just wild. You actually get five decal sheets with this, including this one massive time portal decal, foil decals here, foil decals here, two katanas, and two decal sheets for the katanas. So this set is going to be a lot of fun to put on, and I already see that there are lots of options. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Road Ranger, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now let's take a quick look at these katanas that Road Ranger's decal set came with. I really like these. These look good. They feel good. Nice and solid. Lots of details. I mean, both of them are exactly the same. This is the type of quality I expect from the Toy Hacks Armory. So let's get these all decaled up and check them out. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, I think Road Ranger looks great. I really dig his Halloween collar scheme. The black, orange, red, and silver just pop on this guy. So taking a closer look at the figure, great head sculpt. I love the orange helmet, the red eyes, and the dark orange mouth plate. Moving on down to the chest, we've got a red Autobot logo on white background with some red detailing right there. Down on the crotch, we've got some silver, and really that's about it as far as the paint applications are concerned. He's got the silver arms, the silver shield with lots of detail. He's got his silver blaster, and that is pretty much it. Lots of molded details. I mean, the guy looks awesome. And of course, on the back of the figure, it's all the front of the vehicle. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Road Ranger in robot mode before and after and man oh man does road ranger look amazing now taking a closer look at the figure the first decals you're probably noticing are the new eye decals and the new mouth plate now you do get options looking right here you've got yellow or red eyes I actually went with yellow first but they have these other ones that are red with black outlines and you have a couple different designs of those. You've got like the standard evil eye and then you got one eye round, one eye triangle and I just dig that. I went with that right there because I really like the looks of that. He also gets a new mouth plate. He's got a solid black mouth plate there and another option you have a black one with like some yellow scratches. Then moving on down here to the chest he gets a new black decal right there, and I used the one with the Shattered Glass Autobot logo. Once again, you do have options. You've got Silver Decepticon, Silver Autobot, Red Decepticon, and then the Shattered Glass Autobot. I guess Red is a Shattered Glass as well. I went with the Shattered Glass Autobot because reasons. There's also new black decals right there to break up the red on his chest. Down here on the crotch piece, he gets a red decal, black decals there on the thighs. On the arms, there is red decals around the bicep and black decals inside those little rectangles. Here on the forearm, he gets a time displacement control panel. So I dig that. So he can hop back and forth through time. There on the knees and the front of the legs, New red decals there, some diamond plating here on the side of the knee. Down here on the foot, new red decals there. 
And here on the shield, there's black decals with battle damage, scratches, if you will. And there's options too. If you don't want to do the black with the scratches, you've got diamond plating. So there you go, guys. Oh, almost forgot the katanas. So let's go ahead and get his weapon out of his hand. Go ahead and put in one katana here. They're five millimeter, fit in the hands perfect. And look at the chrome sticker that goes on there. I love that. One side is plain chrome. The other has Cybertronian writing. So let's see, we'll go ahead and give him the other katana. And Road Ranger is ready to deal some serious damage to some dinos. So there you go, guys. Road Ranger in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Road Ranger loses a lot of his orange, but still, the vehicle mode looks great. I just dig the black and the silver. Now, he does have orange translucent windows that I'm not a huge fan of because you can see all of the robot junk and hinges there on the inside. And man, you can look right through those. Really dig the wheels in vehicle mode. They're fortunately not the clip-on wheels that we're used to here lately. Front of the vehicle has lots of details, lots of silver paint applications for the fender, the grill, the lights, and the windshield wipers even there on the side mirrors. All in all, man, I dig this vehicle mode. And he's got some red paint applications right there for the brake lights. So there you go, guys. Oh yeah, and he's got some red paint up there on top of the cab for the lights. So there you go, guys. There is Road Ranger in vehicle mode before and after. Road Ranger's vehicle mode gets a little gory thanks to toy hacks. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, the first thing you're probably noticing is the new cracked windows that go all the way around the cab. I really like that. It just adds to the character so much. Now, if you don't like the cracked look, there are the plain red windows right there. Also, here on the front of the cab, he gets new headlight decals, new chrome decals for the grill, and new chrome bloody decals for the fender. He has been smashing into some dinosaurs. Once again, that is an option. There is the plain chrome decals right there. On the side of the vehicle, this side, he's got some writing till all are extinct. And on this side, he's got his little scorecard. Once again, options. You got the red detailing right there around the pipes up here on top of the cab area or the smokestacks. We got silver decals that go on top of the fist. The wheels get red hubcaps. And something I always forget to show off when I do these newer Toy Hex videos is the decals they use to cover the silver pins. That looks so good. Great color matching right there. Pins are covered there and covered right there. Almost couldn't find it. That's a really good job. And let's see, side of the vehicle here, you got red pin striping. The bed of the cab is the shield that you saw in robot mode. And like I said, you had the options there. You could do the scratches or the diamond plating. There is diamond plating right here on the sides. Back of the vehicle, new brake lights and a license plate that says Road Ranger. Once again, you do have options. We've got license plates that say Nemesis and no dinos. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now, you can take the bed off the truck here, and you'll see new decals for the trailer hitch area and new diamond plating right there. And, of course, you got the red decals from robot mode. And underneath, there's new decals right inside here that cover up the orange to give the illusion of more of a back of the truck. So let me get this put back on. And there you have Road Ranger in vehicle mode after. Man, I absolutely love this Toy Hacks decal set for Golden Disc Collection Road Ranger. It is just so off the wall and out of left field. Toy Hacks, I know you watch my videos. To the person who designed this, please comment what was the inspiration for this set. I love it. 
Now, one of the other decals that I forgot to go over was this giant decal here, this holographic time portal. This is actually on a foil decal sheet, and you could peel this off and stick it on a background, if you wish, on your display area, so it looks like Road Ranger is actually traveling through time to do his dinosaur hunting. So that is really cool. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I'm sure I could figure out something. Another thing I really like about this set is you don't have to go the Dino Hunter route. You have all the different options for robot mode and vehicle mode, so the choice is yours. Also, Toy Hacks, if you're still here, now that we have this katana in the Toy Hacks armory, why don't we make one for Pretender Bludgeon? The G1 Bludgeon could use a katana, and that is perfect. It just needs to be about a half inch longer, and he can finally have a proper G1 weapon. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it is support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!